Hey guys, this is Ed from Mission Impossible, and with me I have Wyatt, and this week we have Retrograde for Atari 2600, and we are doing uh, Activision games from 1982. Um, so, a little bit of a shorter list this time, um, but we have a lot of good games, and mm -hmm. I, this is going to be a hard one for me to try to arrange. Sure, so. well, I'll, I'll try and figure it out myself. Do yeah. you want to go first? I'll go first this time. Um, Barnstorming. Okay. Um, good game. I love the graphics on it. Uh, it definitely is one of these things that with a lot of these Activision games, you notice that when you're flying around, there is the element of how fast you're going uh, and kind of risk versus reward, trying to get as fast as you can and trying to do with the obstacles. It's very similar, um, you know, Barnstorming and say Skyjinx were actually kind of similar in that regard in that it was you're trying to, to you know get through these you know, it's basically sky jinx but instead of um you know horizontal you're going vertical activision yeah. made several of these with yeah. between skiing sky jinx barnstorming mm -hmm. all very much like you got to go through these number of things yeah like in small, order small and, and and everyone that you don't yeah. go through is a penalty yeah exactly so. so um but that being said they did a great job with it uh this is probably going to be a, a common thing. I'm going to give Barnstorming an A. I, I I really enjoyed it. It's not one that I could see going, well, I got to play that over and over and over again, unless I'm trying to get the badge. Um, that is something, you know, we did this on the on the stream of kind of figure out what the badge, uh, you know, prize was or rather the, the score you had to hit to be able to get the badge. Um, and uh, so we did not hit it. Which that could be a fun stream. Yes, that, that would or be, just, that or might just be a little frustrating. Video. Yeah, exactly. Of trying to hit it and be like achievement get, you know, for the for each of the games. But take pictures. Sometimes and start it would send be, them in. It, it would be some of these games. It'd be really challenging to do. I think. I think so. It'd be fun I, though. I, I, some of them are very doable though. We did. We even saw you get the one in Pitfall. Yeah. The deal is, though, I think the, the one thing I will say about the badges is it definitely gives you a reason to yes. try to do better. Yeah, it does. As opposed to just be like, huh. well, I mean, there is a bit of competition. You know, it's like, ah, it's a tangible reward. Yeah, yeah. And if, yeah, so. The, the nice thing about high scores in a lot of modern games is the higher you get in score, the more things you unlock. Mm -hmm. And so you get more for it. Mm -hmm. The fact that there, there is the o only the satisfaction of having a big number, but. Especially There's achievements, though, too. Think about on, on like nowadays, consoles. Yeah. yeah. So it, they've yeah. Re, they've I think mastered this, but they did it in a really cool way with the physical objects. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it in B though. Barnstorming. Okay. It was good. It was really good. But you're right. It is a lot like Sky Jinx and a lot like skiing. And I think of those three, this is the one I'm least likely to play more. Fair. Fair. Uh, good game. Good graphics. I really like all of the little animations on the guy. Uh, hitting the ducks is annoying. <laughs> yeah. Or whatever they are. Geese, birds of some sort. Because they just slow you down so much, and mm -hmm. it's really hard to avoid them at mm -hmm. times. So that's one I think if we ever do go through those to try and get patches, that's going to be a pain. <laughs> so a lot of these are going to be a pain, to be honest. But, but that we'll one see. I think more than some of the others, because game one is the mm -hmm. only thing it requires of you, and it's like, ah. yeah. <laughs> that and Sky Jakes are going to be yeah. awful. Yeah. Okay, Chopper Command. Um, so Chopper Command is a Defender-like. Um, yes. Uh, I think that they did Defender better than Defender. I would say so. Uh, I uh, had a lot of fun with it. Uh, again, I mean, I'm not a huge Defender fan, but uh, as, as far as like the games on the, especially on the 2600, if I'm going to play a Defender, like this is going to be a go-to for me. Um, Stargate was good, but I think they did the, a better one with this one. Um, I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna go for a B because it was kind of derivative of a, you know, a Defender game. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of new stuff. I mean, the only thing is they didn't pick up the trucks and stuff. Like, you know, it'd be kind of funny if they did, but, uh, it's not one that I probably, I mean, again, because I'm not big on the Defender games. I probably wouldn't choose to play this much, but uh, they did a good job of it. This one made me uh, disappointed in Defender, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay. This is better on, I think, every count from sure. the 2600 Defender, sure, to be sure. 
to be clear. Uh -huh. um, and the it was graphically really impressive. I really like the break. like the horizon thing. Yeah, on the top the, and, it had so much going on. Yeah, it really made me enjoy it. And mm -hmm. the enemies with their splitting bombs mm -hmm. and and just the fact that it gets pretty fast after a while. The challenge mm -hmm. does ramp up pretty reasonably. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I just I thought it was good. It's yeah. derivative, but in a way where they I think surpassed. Oh yeah, what they were aiming to. I agree. Okay, uh, Grand Prix. This has, you know, at least at this point, in my opinion, you know, at, in 1983 or 1982, I should say, this was hands down the best racing game at that point. I think Indy 500 was different because it was top down, but as far as just like you know the racing games where they were trying to do it this way, uh, I think that they did a great job with it. Um, it's hard though. It is definitely harder it's than unforgiving. Else. Yeah, um, I'm gonna probably go B plus just because it's hard to rate these. Because you know, I could very easily, you know, if we were gonna say compared to Atari versions, these would all be S tier. Uh, but to try to kind of keep it within it, its yeah. own context. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna give it difficult. a. I'm gonna give it a flat B. Okay. It was a good game, um, but yeah, it's just so punishing <laughs> to yeah. an extent where yeah. I don't know if I would play it again, other than I for love the, the challenge. They did yeah, good, they, did, they, they did really yeah. good job. Yeah. I can't give it any worse than that. You know, mm -hmm. a game with worse graphics but the same gameplay would probably get a C right, in this. Right. But I, it, it was just good. Oh, yeah. it, it was good. It just yeah. didn't tickle my fancy quite the way Barnstorming did. Sure, fair enough. Okay, next up is Kebobber. So that was an unreleased title. Yeah. Um, and you it know, should have been released. Yeah, I truly playing it. The only thing that, that I can think of is that they probably had some people test it. And it, because it's pretty abstract, uh, whereas all the other games are very tangible, very, very relatable to very a clear. Real world, very real world kind of thing. Um, I think that people might have just been like, I don't get it. What are, what are, what are we doing here? Um, but the concept of it was, was pretty neat, actually. Their execution um, was interesting. Mm -hmm. I, I got to say, I'm disappointed that they didn't release it. Yeah. Because I think, yeah, maybe they could have workshopped the name a little bit. Yeah. The names were a little odd, but... Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think I'm gonna go with a lower A. I, I thought it was just, it was fun. It, it definitely would be one I would want to try out again, especially seeing, you know, as, as you get higher up levels, there was different guys and stuff mm -hmm. that were on there and stuff. But uh, I'm gonna for a prototype, an unreleased game. It didn't play like a prototype. It did it, not. It didn't have bugs that we saw. It didn't. I mean, it just played. And, it was. You know, I, I, I would play Kebabber again. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, Kind of, uh, you know, I might even put it at the higher end of A. Right. I don't think it's quite S, but I'll also they, you know, un didn't release it, so yep. they didn't really polish it any further yeah. than this. Yep. I think with some minor things, I, I don't even know what they would be, but this yeah. this was close to being one of the most. It's by far the most unique game we've played so far. It's not like anything else that we've sure. played. Sure, and that's, it, that's another problem. It has its own identity so yeah. much that it makes it difficult. And, you know, for better and worse, of course. Uh, you know, like uh, Hideo Kojima and his mailman simulator, mm -hmm. uh, Death Stranding. Sure. I have not played that game. I'm not sure I will because it's a game so outside of any other parameters that it seems like, is it still a game? Yeah. Is it still fun? Walking simulator. Yeah. yeah. Now, th there is a certain amount of, and this might have been why it you know, went on the cutting room floor, so, so to speak. It, it's a lot of these games, you, you know, the elevator pitch is really important. When you're like saying, well, it's kind of like, you know, for Chopper Command, you could say, it's Defender, but you're doing it with standard military vehicles. You got a chopper. You're not, you know, and you're you're protecting your tanks. Boom! People know what that is. And and Kebabber, you're like, well, you're these guys jumping around. You have to jump on them before that. You know, it's not. It, you know, all these other ones. It, it's really easy to describe what it is. I think, and, yeah. And you know, I, I don't think that means that it's bad. But no, no. It just means that. 
I think that possibly it was ahead of its time kind of thing. Almost, yeah. Of, you know, I could see people like, oh, this is weird. But, you know, if it actually got released, I could see it being a kind of a underground hit kind of thing. And going, I would, oh, wow, I, yeah. I could yeah. certainly see that. But, you know, we've seen that in the past. You know, weird games like that that are that do become a hit. Look at, like, Pikmin or, or these kind of you games. Yeah, I was thinking about yeah, Pikmin Yeah, it's just well. like, it's just, what are you, you're a little thing you're not it's just like you're it's just you're a guy weird, with a bunch of plant yeah dudes it's, and it's, they it's, hang out with you and yeah. you pick up batteries and and it's just kind of bizarre but yeah that was a huge hit and and for a reason yeah, yeah. yeah. and, and i just, think kebabber could have been that if yeah. they had continued it exactly okay mega mania uh shooter with a major twist um I, I definitely, it was one of those, we actually got pretty high, and I don't know if we got anywhere near I the, the badge, but uh, I uh, I like it. I'm gonna probably put it at a B plus, um, because I mean, yeah it is, it does have some extra stuff in it, um, but I'm not, I'm not sure I, I really wanna play more of it. I mean, it's cool, and I would do it, excuse me for the badge, but in general, I don't see myself playing it a, a ton. But I'm going to throw it to uh, a low A because okay. it's it, it took an established formula of the scrolling back and forth shooter mm -hmm. and uh, really did something unique with it. Mm -hmm. It may it felt different than Space Invaders and oh, all sure. those other ones, which all those felt fairly close, closely tied together. Mm -hmm. But this one, this one feels like its own thing mm -hmm. in a lot of ways and i really appreciate it for that yeah it definitely has some unique aspects and that, that was kind of thing i like the fact that they don't just hit the ground the, uh, the scrolling you know, just feature going and... it, it made it also more difficult in some ways and oh, i yeah. think it adds a unique challenge that yeah. some of those others don't have yeah. but now we're getting into some big ones here <laughs> yes is next to pitfall pitfall absolutely s tier no doubt about it uh this is really kind of I wouldn't say it's the first platform game on the 2600 but it uh it was definitely kind of set a standard I you know it, it's one of those the the graphics look great the sound effects I mean they David Crane knocked it out of the park with Pitfall and he I did. think it really uh it sets itself set apart standard. yeah and you know what I I gotta say I also have an, a nostalgia for it because of Marvel yeah. Ultimate Alliance <laughs> You've on the it. On the PlayStation right, 2. Right. And also the Xbox 360, I think. <laughs> right. I I just it's it's a great game. I mean the the I, I mean there's really only thing that they could do would maybe put out a sequel, maybe. That would have been that would have been cool. How crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad we'll never see something like that in our day and age. Um but uh no, I I, I zero faults with Pitfall. Uh it, it it really, again, it really kind of set a standard going forward for just how games should be. Um, next up is River Raid. It's also an S tier. Uh, it, it is another, it's they, you know, did a great job with the, it's a shooter mechanic, but you have the ability to, it's on rails, shooter on rails, basically. It, and truly, I mean, at this point, we in the arcades, I'm not sure when like 1941 and those kind of games come out, but it's mm. very much, uh, and if it came before or not after, I'm not sure. But that that you know vertical shooter on yeah. rails, um, I, uh, I I you know really really enjoy River Raid. I gotta give it an A, the okay. top A. It's a really good game. I don't think that it really, it, in some ways, didn't wow me as much as like Pitfall did because okay. of it, it was quite unique though. Mm -hmm. And it is definitely worth playing. Mm -hmm. That's that's the big thing. Is I had fun with it. I really did, mm -hmm. and I want to go get further with it. I just don't think I can quite put it in S tier. But it's it's a good game. Fair, fair. Um, yeah, I, it's one of those things. That I, it's it's definitely in my top list. Uh, I wouldn't say it's my favorite game, but it, it is definitely up there. Um, next up, Sky Jinx. So at first, you know, I had never really played Sky Jinx before uh, the stream, uh, you know, just a little bit to test it out. And, um, you know, at first I was like, oh, this is kind of neat. But the, after like, you know, hitting the button and trying to time it and trying to get like the, the kind of drifting kind of thing going on that you get going mm -hmm. on, it, 
it was really cool. I, I felt like, you know, maybe I, I had a hot take at the beginning going, eh, it's just, you know, a solid Got game. more weight to it. Yeah, I'm actually going to, I'm going to rank it higher than, than Barnstorming. I, I thought, you know, would I, would I want to play it a bunch? Not necessarily, but it is, I, I really like the shadows in it. I, uh, I you know, the graphics on it were, were great. Um, and yeah, just the, the timing, you know, you're just trying to, just time it really good to just try and get through the, the gates. I'm gonna put it above Barnstorming as well because I think it deserves it. That 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 is really a Zen game. I could lose myself yeah. in that one for yeah, a while. Yeah, you do while. find you're just kind of just- Way more yeah. than any of the others yeah. of that type that they made. Mm -hmm. I just, I, I can't fully explain it, but it just really gets in your head and you just- I get it, I get it. it it's the- uh, what's the, the the visceral kind of experience of your like your you just you're like okay I'm I'm just cruising you get into a, into yeah, a it's flow. flow yeah it's Jinx, a flow you owe me a soda yeah, yeah. but there you go. <laughs> this isn't <laughs> you, a soda you didn't That's say a can you didn't say it had to be full there's a couple drops in there anyway uh, <laughs> no ludicrous. great 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 game uh, again I, I was pretty surprised with this one because I had never actually played it and and it was it was neat. Um, okay, Star Master, our last one. We got a quick, quick one this one. It, the, well, they're just all so good, I yeah. think, is the big thing. Yeah. It's not hard to rank them. It, it is it in is some ways. Between but, each other, they're all good. I but mean, it's it's easy to put them where they belong in yeah. a lot of ways. Uh, Star Master, uh, you know, we had talked about this. Star the Raiders, stream. but better. Yeah, yeah, Star Raiders, but better. Um, the, uh, obviously, Star Raiders, or not obviously, but on the stream, somebody had mentioned that, uh, Jeremiah had mentioned that, uh, you know, this came out before Star Raiders, at least on the 2600. Star Raiders came out on the, the 8-bit, I think, beforehand. Yeah, but... in 79, I think. And, um, killer app on the, on the 8-bit platform. Uh, and, uh, so I think this was just not, I wouldn't go so far as to say a port, but pretty much, um, they definitely had a, a few more things going on, but I I really liked it. Um, I thought that, you know, we've seen a couple of these now. We've seen Stellar Track, which was really good. Uh, you know, we've seen Star Raiders, obviously, and there was, I think, one more. That there was, was I yeah, can't think of it. But the space, space Spaceship, I think, or Starship or something. Star, like. yeah, Starship, yeah, one of those. Might have been. One of those. Um, so I am, for me, it's definitely in the A tier. I'm gonna probably put just below Sky Jinks. I I thought it was fun. I uh, I really like the uh, the the use of the colors to kind of show you what what's going on as far as you know. Okay, there's bad guys. It's red. If they're if they're all clear, it's green. There's they did a really good job with kind of the UX uh, aspects of it. Sure, yeah. Uh, of kind of making it so that you know kind of what's going on. It, it was very straightforward. I think the only thing that that you need to know is that it uses a separate switch than your you know your controller. It uses the you know, color black and white and or a difficulty switch. And it's but, pretty yeah. cool that it does. Yeah. So they didn't have to mess around with the. Uh, yeah, that was the thing with Star. Not with. having a, another controller or and not only that, just not another controller, but a whole like separate controller. That was just for this game, the keyboard controller. Yep. Granted, they had different variations of the keyboard controller, but the one that came with Star Raiders had an overlay and it had all this stuff that is just like way Mind more. Mind numbing. Yes, yeah, and it's, you, did, you didn't you don't need that. Clearly. They, yeah, they, yeah. With one switch, they did what Star Raiders had uh, to have a whole other controller. Yeah, there. and. and it's like, all right, so maybe you need someone to hit the button. But to be honest, the the whole switch thing, usually you're not, well, I guess you could be doing it in a firefight, but a lot of times you're like, okay, I killed the guys, let me go to the next level. And you have flick. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. one of the things we didn't do is we didn't go to like the Star Master level, which would probably be True. much harder. Much it, was, it, was, it was pretty straightforward. Yeah. I could see it being a little crazy. At the I, I agree. I put it at this uh, mid A point. Uh -huh. This game is really good. It's way better than it, I think a lot of the ones we played. Uh -huh. Purely on user interface. Yeah. This game was straightforward and it played yes. well. Yeah. Is that so hard? I know. Is that so <laughs> hard? God damn. So, it. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's just like, you know, you're like, it's it's pretty obvious. Like, yes, get reading the manual. I was like, kind of like, okay, so what do we have to do? 
But after we were kind of going, I'm like, yeah, we, we got this. All we needed to know was that we were on the right track on, on you know, because I had, you know, we use a, you know, Xbox controller and I have the buttons mapped for like the difficulties. I didn't map one for the, the color black and white. And so I was like going, do we need to mess with it and, and do something different? I didn't know if the, they did something different. And it's like, no, no, it worked. And I just want to make sure that we were on the right screen. But yeah. once we got that, it was very straightforward. It was smooth. It yeah. made me see that this is what whoever made Star Raiders on the 2600 wanted it to be. Sure. Nice. Yeah. And everyone understands it right away. We didn't really need to read much even, other right. than knowing we yeah. switched to Yeah, this. but because it, it was pretty obvious, so you're like, oh, okay, that's our, that's our base. You know, it's like, once you go there, it's like, oh, it's a base. All right, you get your fuel back up. Okay, uh, there's some guys on here, so they're bad guys. All right. You shoot them. Yeah, you shoot them, and then you go to your base and go And, and you know, the, it was pretty obvious what each of the little letters are. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, warp, and you know, all these different things. It's like, ah, lasers. It's oh, okay. Start, it, clicks really easily yeah. into place and yeah, yeah. i think they really need it so yeah. good on them good on yeah. activision as you can see guys we, we've got a pretty good year here <laughs> yeah i mean we've got nothing below a b and that's that's a first i don't think we. Uh, i don't think ever that has happened yeah no. so and we didn't even need the basic math here because I, I didn't even bother with it because no like, I know we didn't have. We're not going to have anything. And with and I am happy to say that yeah. it is Activision, very good. Yeah. Can't wait to see what this company does. In the future. <laughs> yeah. you, I wonder so if they you, do are anything saying, important. Are you saying that, that they 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 did more than the twenty six hundred games? Is that is that what you're? I don't know. About? We'll have to find out. Yeah, we'll have to find out. Um, all right, guys. I think that's all we have for today. But as always, see you in the next adventure. Take care. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you'd like to see more of this kind of content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. I post new videos all the time and I wouldn't want you to miss any. If you'd like to see more of this series, be sure to click up here. And if you'd like to see something else, be sure to click up here.